हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर शंकर दे वेलकम टू आईएनआईसीटी रिकॉल क्वेश्चंस नवंबर सेशन सो दिस इज रिकॉल बेस्ड क्वेश्चन बाय सम ऑफ माय जूनियर्स सो दिस इंक्लूड्स बोथ मॉर्निंग एंड इवनिंग मिक्स्ड पैक सेशन एक्चुअली दिस कंटेन बोथ सेशंस क्वेश्चन सो स्टार्टिंग विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हु ट्रेजिडी इज ड्यू टू which poisoning actually this is question for forensic medicine the answer will be methyl alcohol in this case and as you all of you know option a is a treatment for option b ethyl alcohol is used for treatment of methyl alcohol poisoning also fomepizol coming to question number 2 female of reproductive age group presented with sudden onset headache advice for non contrast ct scan of brain so which will you ask before the ct scan as this is a female of reproductive age group you should ask about the lmp last menstrual period because any type of ct scan or x ray exposure is totally contraindicated in case of pregnancy and about this option cochlear implant in case of mri before mri you should ask about any implant in the body so present with cochlear implant you should not of uh, advise the patient for mri next coming to question number 3 i think this was on radiology questions direct question about the diagnosis this clearly shows boot shaped heart so this is nothing but tof tetralogy of fallot showing boot shaped heart tetralogy of fallot tof which is not included in the criteria of SIRS systemic inflammatory response syndrome as you can see here SIRS criteria includes either temperature more than 38 or less than 36 degree celsius heart rate or pulse rate more than 90 so these two options are right and respiratory rate also more than 20 so this is also right and wbc either more than 12000 or less than 4000 so this is also right so the answer will be sbp less than 90 this is not included in the criteria for sirs coming to question number 5 19 year old girl presented with neck swelling moving with deglutition invades the anterior strap muscle so and here is the histopathological image this is image showing features like this nucleus feature is called orphan anii nuclei so this is orphan any i nuclei suggestive of which carcinoma yes you are very right this is nothing but ptc papillary thyroid carcinoma so very common image repeatedly asked image for ini ct or ems exam so this is papillary carcinoma of thyroid identify the instrument this is bone marrow aspiration needle this is clemas needle because it has no side screw as you can see here in this image there is two needle for bone marrow aspiration this is salas needle s for sala s for side screw so side screw is present is salas needle and in case of clemas needle there will be no side screw so here without side screw this is clemas bone marrow aspiration needle next coming to question number 7 patient with deranged liver function test with increased liver enzyme we are including ggt which anesthetic agent will you prefer the answer will be oxazepam not midazolam diazepam or alprazolam because among these four options options b oxazepam is least metabolized by the liver so that is preferable in case of patient with deranged lft coming to question number 8 which interleukin is not involved in th1 response answer will be interleukin 4 because all other options like tumor necrosis factor alpha interferon gamma and interleukin 12 is involved in th1 response coming to question number 9 which refsum disease occurs due to which pathology or etiology it is because of defective alpha oxidation of fatty acid in peroxisome so this will be the answer alpha oxidation defect in peroxisome i think others options are like defect in beta oxidation or omega oxidation in some other organelles so the answer will be alpha oxidation defect in peroxisome refsum causing refsum disease coming to question number 10 patient undergoing treatment for pud uh, or peptic ulcer disease presented with uh, presented and chest x ray done showing this image straight x ray abdomen so the image shows nothing but gas under diaphragm 
or pneumoperitoneum so the best management for this patient is immediate resuscitation with iv fluid followed by expiratory lobotomy this is resuscitation and expiratory lobotomy is the best answer so the answer will be correct answer a and c one and three is the correct answer so in the next video i'm going to discuss next set of question so don't forget to subscribe my channel dr shankar for next set of questions thank you very much for watching